Okay, so let's get started by seeing if we can answer two of the most common questions that get asked about XML. First is, what is XML? Well, XML is the extensible markup language. That's how it gets its name. The letters come from XML. It became a recommendation of the World Wide Web Consortium back in 1998. And the World Wide Web Consortium, sometimes known as the W3C, is a standards body whose members come from the technology industry and they all gather to set standards that are used in technologies such as web development. And XML is one of those recommendations. When a technology like XML becomes a W3C recommendation, member companies, as well as companies that take advantage of these technologies, are strongly encouraged to use them and follow the specification as it's been set down. It is a tag-based syntax, very much like the HTML that you're probably used to writing in your web development. So if you're used to seeing tags in HTML, such as image and paragraph and heading and so on, XML is going to look very familiar to you. One of the great things about XML is the first word in its name, extensible. You get to make up your own tags. Of course, you can use an existing tag set to solve a particular problem if a tag set exists to do that with. But if it doesn't, you get to make up your own tags. It is the foundation for several next-generation web technologies, such as XHTML, RSS, which is what web logs are built out of, AJAX, and web services. Now, each one of these subjects could probably fill its own title, so we're not going to be going too deeply into these subjects in this particular title. But I wanted to call them out here so that you could see real-life examples of where XML is being used. Now, XML does not replace HTML. This is an important point to make. XML is thought of, you can think of XML as a foundational technology, whereas HTML has a set of predefined tags already in it for the express purpose of displaying web pages. XML is more like a base way of creating tag sets, of which HTML could be one. It's sort of like how you take a set of letters called an alphabet and build a language such as English out of it. Okay, what does XML do is the second most common question. XML is used to structure and describe information. If you get nothing else out of this title, understand this sentence right here. XML is used to structure and describe information. And we'll go into this more deeply as we get through the title. But one of the great things about XML is because it is a highly structured and hierarchical nature, you can apply it to all kinds of information to help you structure it and apply and attach meaning to information that is otherwise freeform and chaotic. From day one, the authors of the XML spec intended that XML would be used with the internet in order to deliver information, either be via the web or via the, uh, the public internet. It was intended from day one for this purpose. And finally, XML can be used as a way to interchange data between disparate systems, which probably weren't designed to do so. For example, if a bank needs to exchange data with a loan company, and they're both using computer systems that are old or or even if they're new, but they were never designed to talk to each other, XML can be used to bridge that gap by taking data and structuring and arranging it in a way that these two systems can work with it together.